guys and welcome to the Geek Man Cave. So you've caught me chilling in the Geek Man Cave, playing a bit of Xbox 360 on my unfortunately small 22 inch TV. Um, but I'm going to show you today how you can put gaming like this on a big screen for dirt cheap. So like I said, today I'm going to be showing you a little tutorial on how you can set up a cool entertainment system for less than £100, guys. And it's one of the best things I've done in the Geek Man Cave. So, as you can see, I've been playing the 360 and playing some uh, old school Dragon Ball Burst Limit on the 360. Having a bit of a whale of a time, taking down Cell. Uh, but like I said, unfortunately, the pennies ain't great in the pot at the moment. I haven't got the cash to splash out on a nice 50-inch 4K telly up here. Um, I will be getting a nice big telly up here soon, especially when I get a nice telly downstairs. The 42-inch plasma will come upstairs. But for now, I have to make do with this. Now, it's not too bad to play games on, uh, watch a few bit of anime and some TV on. But when I want to watch Star Wars or any big movies like The Avengers or that, a 22-inch TV is not going to do great for, especially me, my son and my wife, all killed around in the Geek Man Cave watching this. Or if I've got any cool sport that I want to watch, like the Lions or any football, I'm not going to be able to watch it up here. So, what's my alternatives? One, I either splash out on a massive TV, um, which will probably cover up most of my display wall, or I get a projector. Yeah, that's right. So, if we have a little look in my man cave, you've probably noticed in my previous videos before, but the Geek Man Cave has its very own movie projector. Now, I picked this guy up on Amazon. Now, I've been wanting to get a movie projector to do a home entertainment, like a cinema kind of feel for the Geek Man Cave. And you might have seen on my Twitter, me and my son and my wife, we watched the original Cars up here the other day and he loved it and it was brilliant. So I'm going to just talk to you about where I got it from, how to set it up in yours and how you can really play cool games, watch movies and TV up here. I will definitely be watching the Game of Thrones episode 4 up here because it looks to be humongous and this thing can show it off big time. Now, I picked up this projector for about... About £70 on Amazon. Now, they range from £50 all the way up to £1,000. Now, guys, it's entirely up to your preference and your cash about what projector you want to get. But I would say don't go buying too cheap because it's not going to be great. This guy is about 2,500 lumens. It's a pretty bright L LCD 10H, 10, uh, 1080p projector it does the job for now i will be getting a better one in the future but it does the job so basically all it is is a small projector like the ones you have in school uh and what i've done i've uh, attached a wall mount that i picked up on ebay for about a fiver um attached to the top there was already a hole there for this this one this um pretty much fits all and the end has got a ball nozzle on it so you can move it around to fit it the way you want it as you can see around the back then we've got a few ports I don't know if you can see so we've got room to plug in your surround sound or your headphones we got usb ports here so you can stick in um a usb to look at photos or videos or anything else you have a hdmi cable and a vga so you can connect into your pc but as you can see i'm only using it for the hdmi wire and i've got an extra long hdmi wire that comes up and threads straight through the man cave and the great thing is as you can see because of my beams and pillars in the man cave it hides it i am going to get rid of this with a little box in but i can do that anytime so again the hdmi wire guys goes straight to the back and it can plug straight in then to anything that has a hdmi cable my wii uh, has an extension um for hdmi and my 360 does the job with all the apps still on it uh you can plug it into your xbox ones or your playstation 4s it's entirely up to you hdmi works for me as you can see then i've got the power wire that comes up here i've got an old school box one but i'm going to get something blocked in there so it's all covered away all nice again great things on pillars i can put things up like that but for you guys you could box it in at the top line it down and find your nearest plug port and do it for you now, the thing you want to look for is the lumens. Now, that's how bright it is. Now, this one's about 2,500, which means it's pretty bright. Um, you can just about make it out in a bright room, just about, but you want to be doing it in pitch black because it'll get a better picture. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to put Dragon Ball up on here, up on my projector, so you can see how easy it is just to, to, just to connect it up as it goes. So... 
underneath the projector, you've got some key buttons just to move it around. You've got the power button here. You have the menu button here, so you can activate here. You've also got a flip button because obviously the projector is upside down, so it flips the image. Um, and then you've got the source, so you can switch between the source. Now, you're going to need some way to project it too. Now, if you've got a white slat wall that'll do a white sheet will do fine as well i've used this in the garden at night and i've got a white wall there and it worked fine but for the man cave because obviously i've got my slopes i haven't got a direct wall so what i've done i don't know if you've noticed i have a pull down manual uh projector screen again amazon guys it was only about 25 pound i had an amazon gift card so this only cost me I think about seven pound uh, with delivery. This is a 60 inch. I'm probably going to get the 100 inch because I have the room to fit it in here. And to be honest, I am having to squeeze down the image to get the right image. But we have a little look. All it does then, pull down, click. And what would you know, I have a big old 60 inch screen already in my room. Dragon Ball is now projected up on the screen. But as you can see, because it's quite bright in here and my camera's not doing any justice, you cannot see how good the quality is. I'll turn the lights off. Look at that. Woo! And again, just jump straight into the game, guys. As you can see as well, the sound is coming from the projector. So as you can see, the sound is coming directly from the projector. It's pretty loud, to be honest. It's at 100% right now. Um, it's pretty loud, but as you can see, it's a huge screen. Um, if I just, without knocking you over, if I get up just to show you scale. Don't fall over. Hey, hey. You can see that next to me is huge. It, it's not doing it enough justice on you guys. But if I just jump out and just show you. If we jump up, Xbox Home. So you can see again, it is a big old screen. Nice and clear. And again, there's no reason why you couldn't connect a, um, a speaker system straight into surround sound straight into your um, into the projector and you can have surround sound then. Uh, but for me, inside the Geek Man Cave, that sound is enough for now. So we just go YouTube videos. We jump up into my Nuzlocke challenge, maybe. Yeah, let's jump into Nuzlocke. You can see the quality is really, really good. Good morning, guys, and welcome to the Geek Man Cave's Nuzlocke challenge. So, last episode was... So see, you can even oh, watch me now on a huge screen. We caught our first Pokemon. As you can see, we have caught the legendary Pokemon of space. And just as easy as it's, enough, it's all tucked away. So your man cave stuff can still all be on show. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'll leave um, uh, details of where I got all my stuff from. It's a real nice way of... of having people over to watch a movie in your man caves. Um, we're looking forward to watching Guardians of the Galaxy 2 when it comes out. And like I said, I'm going to invest in a bigger screen. You might even want a bigger screen. You may get a more expensive projector. It's what works for you. And guys, always remember, it's your cave, it's your rules. And I'll see you next time.